Hi, my name is Frank Lagore. I'm a fourth year PhD student in the Collective Dynamics and Control Laboratory. I was attracted to the Collective Dynamics and Control Laboratory because I was interested in uh, working with Dr. Derek Paley, um, who has a good reputation in the controls and dynamics communities. Frank Lagore is currently working on our National Science Foundation project pertaining to ocean sampling with autonomous vehicles, and he's developing systems that will enable long endurance vehicles to coordinate their motion in such a way as to extract the most information from dynamic and uncertain ocean conditions. Currently there's a system in place, it's called the Argo system, and it's about 3,800 floats that are located all around the world. They're just floating out in the ocean, that's all they do is float, but they can change their buoyancy to go up and down and take vertical dives, and they measure things like temperature and solidity, pressure, and uh, they report that data back when they surface, but they can't decide where to go, right? In the future, we'll have a more autonomous and capable sampling network in the ocean, which can help us to better predict the state of the ocean. The framework works by taking Lagrangian measurements of the vehicles. Those are uh, measurements of uh, the vehicle positions as they drift and are influenced by the presence of the underlying flow. And it uses these measurements to estimate the underlying parameters of the flow model and build a flow map by which the vehicles can decide where they want to go. And they uh, decide that they want to take control actions in directions of high observability of the underlying flow field parameters, by which they'll get better and better estimates to recursively improve their understanding of the flow environment that they're in. And the two vortex system is interesting because your vehicle needs to understand where it's feasible to sample as well as where it's most informative to sample. You can see here that the vehicle estimates of the vortex locations are shown as black circles and the truth is shown as red circles. Here are results of implementation of our framework. First video I'm going to show is just a drifting vehicle, so there's no framework. The next video shows when the controller knows the flow, estimation performance is improved, and the vehicle is able to lock on to the true position of the two vortices. The final video is the full output feedback guided Lagrangian sampling framework being implemented where neither the controller nor the estimator know the flow field. And we can see here the vehicle drives around in a more exploratory manner initially because uh, it's not sure where to go, but it's able to finally figure out the flow field parameters and lock on to the true estimates of the vortex positions as it goes around sampling. I like dynamic sampling applications because I find them to be very challenging and there to be many open questions still and um, this is uh, something that I find to be very rewarding and thought-provoking. Better understanding of the state of the ocean will lead to better forecasts for the ocean currents and uh, in fact will actually lead to better forecasts uh, for the state of the atmosphere as well because of strong ocean-atmosphere coupling. Mm -hmm.